Hello fellow Eurovision fans, I'm Heidi from ESA Norway and today I'm joined by Tussa! Hello, hi! He will, he will represent Sweden in this year's contest with his song Voices. Hello Tussa and first of all congratulations on winning Melody Festival this year! Thank you very much, hi, thank you! It's, <laughs> it's crazy, it's a crazy journey! <laughs> Has it been a roller coaster ride? Yes, it has. It, in my head and in in real life as well. So yeah, <laughs> but here we are. Uh, I guess you're excited about Rotterdam now. I am. I'm really excited because uh, I get to represent Sweden, which is a huge deal for me, and it's a it's an honor that I don't take lightly. So it's it's a it's both a burden, but it's also an honor. Uh, but it's, it's gonna be really fun. Uh, because you said uh, during the winning interview with Mons Helmelöv that you wasn't really excited yet because you had to deliver an essay in Nature Science. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't that excited because I knew that that essay was yeah was uh, due. But now I, I still got a lot of school stuff to do because uh, I don't uh, graduate high school until uh, two two months more, and then okay. I graduate. But. Uh... Uh, <laughs> yeah, so it's. I try to do some uh, school work here and there until. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, what? Uh, which grade did you end up in? Uh, what? What do you mean? Uh, the nature science project. Yeah, yeah. Which grade? Uh, grade. Wh which uh, did it? Did it go well? To be honest, I haven't even. <laughs> I haven't su submitted it yet. <laughs> Oh no! I, ha I haven't had the time, but my my teacher was so nice. She said you can deliver it as soon as you get time. <laughs> yes, that's that's a nice teacher then. Yeah, so I need to make time for it. Yes. How did it feel to win Melody Festival when you were competing against such big names as the Mamas, Dotter, Erik Sade, Arvingarna, Danny? Yeah, it's it's. It's a huge deal because I, when I saw the, the names in no November uh, of everybody who was going to compete, I was just thinking, this is the wrong year for me. This is, uh, I, I lost at this lottery because uh, these are huge names. And then I ended up kicking their asses. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it was, it, it, so it's still, it, it's, it's mind blowing that, um, the Swedish people uh, chose me when there were there were a lot of big names in the competition, and I I think and I hope that it's because of the song, uh, and that the song uh, met, met means something to them, and uh, the whole performance. Uh, I I hope that because that's what why I did it because uh, the song really touched my my heart, and um, I hope it it touched somebody else's heart as well. It touched mine. Thank you. Great to hear. Thank you very much. Uh, the lyrics of the song are really strong, and yeah. so what? So what? The staging, the staging is powerful. Uh, was there any meaning behind the staging against yeah. the lyrics? Absolutely, and that was the, the 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 biggest challenge, I would say, because the song to me, uh, the message behind the song is that is is the humanity and that everybody. Everybody deserves to have their voices heard, and that uh, everybody's strong, and that everybody should be themselves, and to to you know to dare to be yourself, and to not let anybody hold you down, and uh, to translate the meaning of the song into the performance was a huge uh, challenge. But I think the the team I had, uh, Jean Baptiste group. Uh, with Sasha Jean Baptiste, they did a great job doing so, and uh, the meaning behind it, it all just it just fit so good. And I think uh, with the performance, I I had the chance to really to just be me and to just be free in the in the lyrics and in, in the in the song. Yes, uh, and that reflects in your performance because you seem free. You seem like you're just singing your heart out to the people. Thank you. That's what I'm doing. I'm just yes. screaming it out. Can you hear them? <laughs> it's great. Can you it's hear great. the voices? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it, it was a huge, 
huge deal to be able to do that. Will the staging be almost the same in Rotterdam? Well, that's a challenge as well, uh, because the stage uh, here in Sweden looks different. Uh, so the stage on Eurovision looks different than from the Melfest, but uh, we're going to try to make it bigger and, and more powerful than ever. Uh, so we, it's it's a lot of work, but we we are rehearsing and we are uh, changing some things. And I know that we're gonna change a lot for my outfit and upgrade it uh, and make it pop even more. Uh, so it's it's a great project. Yes, according to your outfit, you yourself has a very distinguished style. Yeah, you're very stylish. Uh, do you Thank get you. your get your inspirations for some from someone or somewhere? Yeah, I would say I get my inspiration from, uh, I have role models su such as Jaden Smith, Harry Styles, uh, uh, yeah, and, and so on. And then, so I, I just, I try to um, just pick what I like and a lot of colors, you know, just because I, I get, I, I'm, um, I get really happy trying on uh, different outfits. So I just go with what I feel like is, is, is fancy and, and what, what makes me happy. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you talked about uh, role models in fashion. Do you have any role models or musical idols? Yeah, I do. So it's James Brown, uh, Bruno Mars and Adele, uh, actually. Oh. So those are my musical uh, inspirations. That was a really nice uh, trio. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <I love> it. <laughs> okay. uh, how did uh, Tussa end up in Melo? Yeah, so it all started, I think, in the Swedish Idol, uh, where, where I was a participant uh, two years ago. And one week, I decided to sing uh, the Eurovision winning song, Rise Like a Phoenix, a Conchita mm. Verse song. And as it happens to, to be, Christa Björkman was in the jury that, that night. So he saw me and he was like, you're welcome to Melody Festival and anytime you want. <laughs> And, you know, as a 17-year-old, to hear that, that was mind-blowing. <laughs> and it was just like, because I remember thinking, is he serious? Does he mean it? Or is it just for show? But he was serious. He was like, yeah. Uh, so we started uh, talking about different songs uh, all year long uh, until, because uh, no, 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 none of the songs uh, that I got felt uh, close to my heart or close to what I wanted to say. Uh, so when I heard voices, I was like, yeah, that's it. Let's do it. Uh, so I'm very proud of Joy and, and the gang that wrote the song because it's it's awesome. Uh, was it uh, Love at First Sight? With love, was, at, love at First Listen? <laughs> it, 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 it actually was. Because I remember, I remember hearing the song uh, and I didn't need to hear it twice to get to get it. I was just like, yep, yeah, the lyrics are great. The melody is great. Uh, the strength in the song is great. Uh, and I remember every time I listen to it, I find something new that I'm in love with in the song. Uh, right now, it's the the line, uh, don't let them hold you down. It, it still gets to me sometimes. I, I'm like, yeah, I should live by those words. Yes, because you have felt like you have been held down before. Yeah. So then it's really powerful to hear those words and to sing those words. Exactly, that's right. And um, I had a chat with uh, Emil Asselgård yeah. a while ago, and yeah. he said he was so happy that he Oh, lost to you because you were the you you were the ones who were standing on the stage and you went to the final and he didn't. But as he said to me, he said, uh, "I was so happy that it was Tusa because he's he was so powerful." That's so sweet. That's so sweet. He's he's a, oh my god. <laughs> oh, he's such a good person. Yes, it was really nice talking to him. Yeah. Uh, uh, as a young artist in Sweden, uh, you have to take place. You have to be yourself and have to take place. Is that a hard thing to do in Sweden now? I think I think for me it's been a challenge uh, to you know uh, to be uh, 
to be yourself and to not take uh, to not let people hold you down it's a huge challenge yes. and i think i've grown to to somehow uh, be able to do it free and be free but uh, at first it was challenging because um i think here in sweden we have th something called jantelagen which <laughs> is which is um a, a social co construct um that that makes it very difficult to stand out uh, or or be yourself because you have to be like the rest um so it's it's a, it's a, it, i think it's a challenge but uh, right now it feels good and I, it feels like i can be myself without uh, something holding me down that's really good to hear uh just for fun a little fun fact about yourself a little fun fact about Tusa. yeah a fun fact about me yes Okay, so a fun fact about me will be, I'm a huge TV series geek. I'm a nerd, so I, you know, I watch a lot of TV shows, uh, and yeah, so <laughs> I, I, that's what I do when I'm not singing or in school. Yes, what's your favorite? I would say God. I have a lot of favorite, but I would say, do you, have you watched Friends? Yes. Yeah, that that's my favorite. But you can always watch watch Friends. Exactly. Yes. And you, you don't even have to, you know, begin from the start every time. You can just hop in when, whenever you feel like it and it's, it's still fun. Yes, just watch an episode. It's not so long either. So you have, exactly. you have the time to watch one or two in between work or studies and school and singing. Right. And Are you writing songs yourself? Yes, I am. So that's a huge part of it now because we, we're trying to write something uh, to release after Eurovision. And oh. it's so much fun to just be in the studio and just play with melodies and, and lyrics. So yeah, I'm having really, really fun. Uh, are you having plans to do some promotion against Norway? Do you have the plans to do something in Norway, maybe? Not not yet, actually, but it, it would be an honor to. I love Norway and I, and I would love to uh, maybe co even collaborate. I love Acid S, so it's... Oh. Uh, yeah, so if she make it to... make a shout out to her now. Ask this. Yeah. This if is coming for you. <laughs> if you're listening, I I want to make a song with you. Oh, that would be so nice. That would have been so fun. <laughs> and um, then I just I just want you to make to make a greeting to the fans in Norway and maybe in the rest of Europe. Yeah. So to everyone watching, thank you so much for your support. You mean a lot to me, and I see every single one of you. I see on the internet, uh, I see your support, and I'm very happy to have it. And just remember to remember to be yourselves and to not not let anybody hold you down. And remember that every day is a new is, is a new you know opportunity uh, to grow, to help others, uh, to change something in your life, or to keep living uh, and doing it better and uh, greater. And also. Um, whenever you feel alone, um, just think of we're humans. We're all ha we all. You're not alone because we all have feelings, and sometimes we all feel alone. And because we all feel that, you're actually not alone. Uh, so just help others and remember that you're not alone, and that we have more in common than what separates us, which is so beautiful. And uh, I hope to uh that everybody can just spread more love and just be more more nice to each other <laughs> that would be really nice <laughs> yeah <a little> bit. <laughs> right. uh, i think that you should uh, collaborate with the, this year's norwegian entry uh have Tix. you heard about him Tix? yeah that would be a really yeah. nice name Tix and Tusa. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been fun actually <laughs> <He's Yes. amazing. laughs> Then I will just wish you all the best and thank you so much. really good luck in Rotterdam. Thank you. My love goes out for you and uh, I will watch you and I will share for you. Thank you so much. Have a great time. Thank you. For thank you. Me. Thank you for talking with us. Of course. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.